welcome back. I hope that you've all had a really good week and many blessings for this happy Thursday. So what we're going to do today is what would they like to say to you? Raising the vibration up, going into your people's energies to look at what they would like to communicate with you that perhaps they're not saying at this point in time. Now a couple of you messaged for a bump update. Um, so just do this quickly. I'm 25 weeks now. Uh, he's growing. Where is he? He's here. He's getting bigger, 25 week. Um, so yeah, I had a, and a few appointments at the hospital this week because I have a, I had a really bad accident as part of my awakening where I got hit by a car and I have a disability in my spine. My spine is, uh, my spinal cord is damaged, not, not that you can tell, um, but I have quite a bad disability. So I have had to go to quite a few, ob ob I can never say the word, obstetricians, ob obstetrician, ob person doctor <laughs> pregnancy doctor did just kind of talk that through so i had that this week which was quite interesting they put me on like a care plan so we'll go back like every six weeks just to get seen see how i'm getting on see how he's getting on but yeah other than that we are rocking and rolling so that's the bump update uh looks like he might be coming i have a feeling he's going to come early i just have a very very strong feeling he's going to come early um but still around 24th of november is his due date so that's a fun pub date. Let's go. What would they like to say to you? So it's quite interesting the decks that I've been really drawn to today. Now, Spirit always draw me to specific decks that we are meant to use. I've run out of breath there quickly, so what you're meant to be using in the reading. This time we have a light deck and we have a shadow deck. So it's quite interesting why these energies, why these decks are being drawn to us. I don't know why. We'll see what spirits say. We'll see what the cards say and we'll see what comes up. So what would your person like to say to you? Deck number one and deck number two. Go to the deck that you are most drawn to. And as you're getting drawn to that deck, I want you to just think about your person, think about their energy, think about their emotions, think about their feelings and your feelings and push it to the deck you are drawn to. And if you can't push it, I just want you to visualise a pink or green colour. That's the, the, the heart chakra colour going to the deck you are drawn to. Never feel it, sense it or push it. So you've got your clairvoyance, your clairsentience and um, clairvoyance. Claire sentiments and Claire cognizance can get the other one out. Unless spirits start there whispering in your ear like me and they're like, left one, number one, number two. <laughs> okay, deck number one. Let's do this. So what would your person like to say to you? Let's have a look. So can we get into the collective energy of deck number one? So has, as we always work, uh, me and my guys as a, as a we, uh, we go into all your energies, all your people's energy, and we pull out the strongest energy between you all. What would they like to say? Now, I've actually put my Lenoma down. We haven't used Lenoma in ages, and we love the word Lenoma, very sexy word. So I actually feel we might pull some of them as well. So let's start off by doing a tarot. What would your person like to say to you? So Spirit is saying really clearly in my right ear, time heals all wounds. So not quite a song. Uh, but definitely a quotation coming forward for you. Time heals all wounds. So you guys might have been having a bit of a difficult, you know, few months, potentially a few years. I know all of your circumstances are completely different, but Spirit really clearly saying that time is the healer here for you both. And it kind of comes up with your person and their thought process on what they want to say to you as well. Um, you know, that they they um there is a missing, there is a longing, there is a yearning really strongly coming into this energy. Um, and with the time healing all wounds, it's saying that they're probably feeling a little bit better over the situation, but the time is what's done it. Time's helped to heal their heart um, for you. And so wherever you guys have been, there is this sense of healing coming forward with both of you that it's starting to look up. The situation is starting to look up. So let me just get some Lenoma for you and then we'll talk you through it. What would they like to say to those watching? So first card of Lenoma. I don't know who of you reads Lenoma. You've got crossroads and you've got stars. Let's get three. Lenoma is very different from the tarot. You know, tarot is very uh, floaty. Lenoma is very direct and to the point. What would they like to say? Okay, let's have four. Your four is okay. 
So right off the bat, we do have this sense of healing energy coming forward with you guys. And with Spirit saying, time heals all wounds. It looks like you two have been in a place, and I'm hearing the words wounded soldiers. Now, both of you have been in quite a difficult situation with regard to your person. It's been a bit challenging. It's been a bit hard. It's been a bit painful. It's been quite a lower frequency energy with you guys. Um, now, with regard to your person and what they would like to say to you is that there is a very strong love over here and the first thing that's kind of coming up with the lemon mark with crossroads and star i'm hearing meet me at the crossroads so you read these two together and this is talking about a pathway that has kind of got hope okay so you've got the hopeful pathway so the first thing that they would like to say to you is that they've got hope that this situation is going to come back round now, even though they might have took a step back from the situation, and again, time heals all wounds, we definitely have this memories coming up with you guys. Potentially a lot of memory links. So if you're walking around and suddenly you see a song or you see the, the synchronicities of the numbers, or you are just suddenly pulled back to a point where you were you know, at McDonald's drive through or something like that, it's happening to both of you. You are both being drawn to very strong memory links with each other. And this is what this card is over here are saying that there is hopeful pathways so even if they've took a kind of step back from the situation floated away from it they are going through this kind of healing process and through the healing process is where they are missing you and with that i'm getting um chasing status <laughs> chasing status time feet delilah um which is a song about if you can find the love time to give your love to me just drop me a line and tell me where you'll be so part of this cards and, and spiritual energy that's coming up and I hate to say this because I always find it a little bit generic but patience is kind of a virtue over here um time healing all wounds time feet Delilah there is a emphasis and I can see a big clock kind of spinning actually you know I can see the astrological clock in Prague it's what spirit showed me clairvoyantly so it's kind of written in the stars as well and song coming through with that written in the stars. So even if you two are like at this stalemate, nothing much happening, stagnant energy, we have got this kind of time healing all. OK, so relationship can progress forward. And it's really important over here. You've got this pathway and even though they might be burdened by the pathway, there's still hope that it can come back round. Spirit saying fortitude as well with that, okay? So your relationship and where you are with your person is kind of building momentum and building strength at the moment. So you might feel like not much is happening, but that momentum is kind of coming up behind it, that strength, that fortitude. When we're looking forward from that, we've got hope of happy, happy, happiness, okay? Hope of things shifting, hope of things moving forward. So your person would like to kind of say that to you as well. So they would say right off the bat, most likely that I really do miss you. Um, I've got a lot of thoughts thinking about stuff that's happened in our past and, and where we're going. I've got hope that this is going to turn around. Um, progression route over here for us. I'd like to see where things go. Um, the only kind of detriment over here with the Lenomar is the tree. Okay, And it's not even that bad, but tree symbolises healing yet again. So you have this happiness leading to the healing. So both of you... Then it, link, then it kind of links back. It it's kind of goes like a cycle. So you, you start at the beginning and then it, the cards end together. So over here then you have, it goes this way, a healing pathway. So this relationship and your person at the moment, they're probably having a bit of downtime and that's why you want to communicate with them a little bit more. Um, but what they would say to you is that they miss you, they want to speak to you, that they have these um, very strong feelings for you and they're thinking back over things that have happened in the past. Now, other things that are coming up about what they would like to say, you've got really positive cards, three of cups, ace of pentacles coming forward over here. So again, they'd like to say, OK, this can work out. I can see that we can have a future. I can see that you're that we are in a we, we can be potentially in a much more stable position than where we have been before, that there is great pathways for us to explore together. Um, if you allow it, if we both allow it. OK. And from there, we've got this kind of manifestation of your goals. We have this conflicting energy. So the only dodgy card that you've got is a seven of wands. So seven of wands can speak about jealousy. It can speak about conflict. It can speak about difficulties. It can speak about having their guard up a little bit. 
Now with the magician, this is the kind of energies aligning. So it's really important with you guys that when they either do come back in contact or do talk to you about how they're feeling, that both of you let your guard down a little bit. And Spirit just said really clearly to me, melt the ice. And they show me the wall in Game of Thrones, a big ice wall. So the ice wall has got to melt for both of you. And if you can do that, you can align your energies into this progressing forward. So what would they like to say? Let's recap it all. They would like to say there's, a, there's hope, there's a pathway, there's a direction we can go in. I'm healing from stuff that's happened with us. I'm also healing, Spirit saying, healing from things that have been a bit difficult for me in the past. So potential previous relationships or issues from when they were younger. I've had a bit of a breather and it, through having a bit of breather, I've realised how much I miss you. Through realising how much I miss you, I've realised that I want a future with you. I want this connection to work out with us. And in fact, I'm going to be making movement to reaching out to you, to gaining that, to gaining a future with you. Because I've had a bit of a realisation that this is what I want. And it's come from having this time. And through having this time, we can progress things forward. A little bit of I still have my walls up, I still have my guard up. You might find that sometimes you're being hit with a brick wall with me. But at the end of the day, I do still have these emotions and I do still have these feelings for you. And I'd like to see where things go. That's what they say. And I just want to pull three more. I feel like we should just pull three more just to see anything else kind of summarise. In fact, no, let's change it. Let's use an oracle deck. I don't tend to use oracle decks because I can find them quite generic. Um... I do love this one. I had it for years. It came out. <sighs> Pregnancy. <sighs> it came out in 2015. Um, but it's it's fabulous um, for romance readings and what they'd like to say to you. So what would they like to say? So the first card that's jumped out is rest, which is what we know. This healing energy coming around from you guys. What would they like to say? Rest and healing, two first cards that kind of jump out just to summarise the reading and where we are. So having a bit of downtime from the connection, which then leads to abundance, which is you two coming together and the growth, the growth between the two of you. And Spirit's saying with that, you never know what uh, you've got often until it's gone. And that losing energy, that feeling of loss is what's going to navigate this situation towards them, towards you. Let's get one more over this. Rest and healing, your first two cards just summarises everything. Yeah, so the last one, don't drop on the floor. And um, the last one, self-doubt over here. So they've got this little bit of worry. They've got this little bit of a concern over um, whether they've lost you, Spirit is saying, whether it can work out with you guys. But really interesting on the tarot with the oracle, and actually, even with the Lenormand, you have got these very strong signs of abundance. This situation is worth looking at manifesting into your favour. If you need a manifesting plan, give me a, a, a shout. They're all tailored individually to you. OK, so we look at your where, what your goals are, what you want to achieve. And we, me and my guides will write you up a tailored manifesting plan just for you. They've got a really good success rate. So if you want one, give me a shout. All the details are on the website, www.mysticlovetarot.com. And my email, mysticlovetarot at gmail.com. So if you want more, you can just drop me a message. It's all here for you. It's all here for you. Very strong kind of positive energy. At the moment, the feelings, if we're going to look at Claire's sentiments, the feelings that are coming from this deck is frustration. It is fed up. It is, oh, where, when is this situation going to shift? But the outcome and the feelings of the outcome are much positive, much more, much more positive, much stronger, much more positive, much of a pathway for you guys to choose. And with that, spirit just played that song again meet me at the crossroads meet me at the crossroads 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 go back to the 90s on that one um it's all here for you and your person they probably wouldn't communicate that with you at this moment in time because they're going through this self-realization um, and so it's spirit also saying self-actualization with that they're going through this realization over the connection um with you having this kind of wake-up call and it's coming from this rest this this period of rest but through rest comes that beautiful, beautiful abundance. So this can move. 
your person's just got to miss you. They got to, they've got to miss the connection, miss you, for them to make these moves towards you. Um, and become aware of how they're actually feeling. But what they'd say to you is that they've got hope that it can work out. They've got hope. And what the cards are saying and what the future energy is, is that the most likely outcome for all of you is it's going to work out with you guys. You've got a future. So that's pretty neat. That's step number one. Okay, guys, if you need me, drop me a message. I'm meant to be moving house this week. In fact, I'm meant to be moving house on Friday. Um, but with it being a mortgage, who knows? Um, so I don't know if I'm going to be recording in this house, if I'm going to be recording in the next house. Um, I need to get the kind of internet sorted. And if I can't, I'll go to my parents and record there. So this time next week, it's either going to be from here, it's going to be from a different house, or it's going to be from my parents' house. Um, but I'm sending you all tons of love. I will speak to you soon. Uh, look after yourselves and tons of goddess blessings your way. Ciao, my beauties. Mm. Okay guys, deck number two, let's see what's going on with you and your person and what they would like to say to you. So if you've just tapped in, tuned in, turned on and you want to go back to deck number one, there is a bump update before it starts. Because uh, I know a few of you have messaged and said, where's the baby? What's the bump? Where, what's bump doing? What's happening? Uh, and I know one of you definitely calls him Moona, to ask him how Moona is. Um, but he's doing good. Okay, think about your person for can we get into their person's thoughts, feelings, energy, emotions and thought processes? Just saying that I'm moving house potentially this weekend. Who knows? It's a mortgage. Lots of delays always happening with them. Um, but it will be within the next couple of weeks. I'm not sure if I'm going to be filming here next week, somewhere else. Um, but I am still going to be about. I just got to get the internet sorted and move everything over. There's a lot of tarot decks. I've got like 350 tarot decks. Um, and I need to get a massive shelving unit now because I'm being down. This room is really big. And I'm being put, I'm going into a, a little downgraded room, so I don't know how I'm going to fit it all in. But we'll deal with that at a later date. Because when we first started the channel, I just used to record in my bedroom. So let's see. Right, what would their person like to say to them? What would their person like to say to them? Also with that and the house move, I've just got to give a bit of a shout out to my mortgage advisor. Um, he, he's he been helping me along the way and I told him uh, yesterday because he called me and he said, oh, the bank's got the money, the bank's re like released the money for the house. And so uh, I said, I, I want to give you a shout out. So if anyone needs a good mortgage advisor, let me know. He's um, he's friends with my uncle, but he's been, he's absolutely been so shout out to Andy. <laughs> okay, right, let's do this. You tell me, what would they like to say to you? Ooh. So the first card that's kind of jumped out over here is the Nine of Cups. And with it, I'm hearing the, cats, the cat that's got the cream. Don't tell Poppy, she'll be sugar crazy. So I've also put the lemon mud lemon math down. So we're gonna look at that as well. And some oracle cards. We're using a mixture of all sorts of decks today. What would they like to say to those watching? We are flying. Let's have those. And let's just get three more. I was only gonna do five, but I do feel we need three more. So I'm getting a um, a pagan song. Well, it's kind of a pagan chant coming up. Um, now I can't hear the first word because when we when you know I'm at the goddess temple, we kind of sing it with different words, and I can't actually remember the first word. But the way spirit are saying it is the word "trust me." So trust you, trust me, and that's the first energies that are coming forward with this. Okay, there is this. Um, Kind of trust in the process, trust in each other, trust in the love that the two of you share and trust in the truth of the connection. That's coming up first and foremost. And if your person wanted to speak to you about that, that's kind of what they would say. Let's do Lenoma. Lenoma. What would they like to say to those of debt number two? To those of debt number two. You can tell spirit are really clearly in my energy. I'm also getting, when I get that feeling, I want sexual healing. <laughs> so we've got a little bit of kink going on with you guys as well. 
we've also got communication kind of coming forward. So you and your person and where you are and where it's going, there is a great love between the two of you and predominantly uh, we have a lot of cups in your cards, okay? Cups being emotions, cups being chalices, cups being the wells, cups also being your uh, horror of creativity or the woman out there, okay? Your chalice. So when your person is what they would, what your person would like to say to you first and foremost is that there is a love here. Okay, they would like to say, I have these really strong emotions for you. I have this really strong love for you. Um, I have a really strong hope in this connection and us and where we're going. I see we have a future. They would also say to you with this kind of full moon in the background that I am releasing things that have been holding me back. We, I've put a lot of blocks up. They'd say that I've put blocks up, um, but I'm actually getting ready to let these blocks be released. So they're going to say that to you as well. That's what they'd like to say. Howling at the moon. I love that. Uh, very strong energy with you guys. There's also the need for them to try and protect you. They want to look after you. Um, and a lot of you, you, you know, you're very sassy, sexy, independent people. Uh, but there is this kind of, you know, sometimes we all just need that little bit of someone to put their arm around us and tell us that it's okay. And that's coming forward over here that there's a bit of a protection vibe happening. They also see family connection family, kids, white picket fence, the whole caboodle, you've got the opportunity with your person for that to happen, okay? So first and foremost, what they want, where they're going, you've got this really strong positive energy going on and they'll be like, yeah, we can make this work. We've got Queen of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles, Ace of Wands. So they say I'm taking some time for this situation to work out. But again, fertility coming over. Not off, Well, I mean, it can be fertility as in pregnancy, but also fertility of dreams, goals, ambitions. Remember, when we step into this kind of mother, again, never sexually orientated or gender specific, but with tarot, it works with males, females, mothers, fathers. So when we step, in, step into this mother role, this is the uh, abundance that we seek. And through the abundance, um, you can give birth to dreams, okay? So the mother energy coming up over here, your person would say they see you, first of all, in this kind of, we can have a future, we've got this abundance between us. Um, I can see that we can have a life together, I can see we, have, we can have kids, we can have house, we can have the white picket fence, we can have whatever specific thing you guys want. Um, but also it's giving birth to dreams. And some of you guys as well, I'm hearing perhaps uh, talking about running your own businesses with them coming out of nowhere so I'm going to leave it with you it is for definitely for one of you direct message going on there futures passionate very passionate energy going on with you guys so they'd say there's a sexual attraction that they see a future with you that they see that you guys can be together that they love you that they have very strong feelings for you that they would like to introduce you to their family and perhaps have a family of their own they would also say to you that even though they're making slow movement, Knight of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, even though they're making slow movement, there is still movement and we are still progressing, okay? So they'd also say to you, please just go at my speed, give me a bit of time, I'm working through my demons. And the only negative you card, you got really good readings on both deck one and deck two. Only kind of more negative card you've got is the five of wands it's talks of conflict and arguments okay and when it jumps out with the knight of pentacles and ace of pentacles this is likely to be the frustration that you get with your person that they're not always you're not always going to feel as if they're quite in it you know you might feel that they give you a little bit and take it away and give you a bit and take it away but at the end of the day your person does want this they really do want this um, we've got an owl at the top symbolising changes happening with you guys as well. So your person is undergoing the changes to give you the commitment that you want. Um, and that's just kind of this little bit of conflict. We look at your Lenoma. We've got great abundance, peaceful abundance coming up with you guys. So again, the connection working forward. We've got abundant communication. So if they're not communicating with you much at the moment, that's going to step up as well. Communication increasing and that communication leads to success and that success leads to peace. OK, so looking at your Lenoma as well, uh, you have a very clear route that the two of you are taking um, and it's much more positive. So where they have been conflicted, they're going to open up that lap. Get me words out. Open up the lines of communication with you again to give you what it is that you specifically want. So that's pretty cool. That's pretty neat. And let's just have a look at the oracles because I pulled these for the last deck. OK, 
can you tell me what would they like to say to you, deck number two? What are the shah? Uh, that was a big hand slip. Let's do that again. What would they like to say to deck number two? What would their people like to say? Sometimes they can feel trapped between a rock and a hard place, for it to say. Um, with that coming up, the reason for that is this kind of stability um, and battling the emotions. Because sometimes when it comes to emotions, they can feel a little bit weak. And because they have emotions for you, and we know that they have a love for you, sometimes that can make them feel a little bit vulnerable. So the first card coming up over here is movement. And we know from the Lenama that you've got an increase in communication coming forward. You've also got looking at the tarot, aces, new beginnings coming in and the knight of pentacles, slow, steady movement. So definite movement coming in for your person. So they would say that they're about to make serious moves towards you if they haven't done just yet. What else would they like to say? Fire. Creativity, creative energy coming forward over here. The ability to express emotions and express passions, also sexual energy. So they would say to you that they find you very, very attractive. There's a very strong chemistry between you guys, that the sex is great. That everything's phenomenal between you both uh, when it works. <laughs> lots of creativity, lots of abundance. And when we're looking again at your Queen of Pentacles over here, the opportunity is coming up for the two of you to choose love and to choose and to build this relationship into the direction that you want it to. So they'd say increase in communication. I'm going to start talking to you more. They're going to say, I can see that we've got a future together. I'm really going with that passionate energy. We've also got spirit coming up over here. So they would say, uh, looking at your tarot, ten of cups, nine of cups, the love between the two of you is extremely strong. Um, Divine connection, most likely as well, with spirit kind of coming forward in the middle. And this is what leads to the abundance of you guys. So they'd say to you that they feel that there's something deeper to this connection that they're trying to get their head around, but the love that they share is there for you. And let's just get one more for what they would like to say to you. One more. Okay, debt number one had rest as well. But to a degree, the rest that's kind of coming up over here, and if you look at the seven of pentacles, um, they might take their time a little bit with it. And with the conflicting card over here, you might find, like I said, it goes a little bit backwards and forwards. Uh, but they do know what they want. They do know what they want. Um, and there is that, that great shift and dynamic movement with you guys. So overall, in short, let's summarise. They love you. They have very strong feelings for you. They want a future with you. They're going to increase the communication with you guys. So they'd say all of that to you, that they know they're being guided by spirit, that they might be a little bit backwards and forwards, but just ignore them. The reason for that is because they're feeling a little bit emotionally vulnerable, um, that this is a connection that they want to push forward. This is a connection that they want to um, invest in and that there's a great future over here for you both coming from an increase in communication it's going to be a little bit they'll probably say i just want to take my time with it i don't want to rush it um let's just see what happens let's go gentle let's go slow but the longer term goals is that they want to be with you and they want to make those moves to be with you and that's deck that is deck number two Okay, so if you need me, just drop me a message. As I said, I am moving house at some point, um, but I will still be around. I have data on my phone. I will still be doing email readings. I have still got midwife appointments, um, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So I will be around if you need me, just drop me a message. All the details are on the website. I love you all to pieces. I will speak to you super soon um, and stay blessed, my angels. Stay safe and stay blessed. Lots of goddess blessings your way. Ciao, angels.